Hello. In this video we're going to explore how to build visualizations using drag in and drop in but using a combination of left and right mouse buttons when we drag and drop as well as the control button. So first of all I'm going to build a quick visualization using just my left mouse button. I'm going to pick up order date, drag that onto columns and I get the year. So I'm going to just use this drop down change that to a continuous month then drag on my sales left mouse button again drag and change this to the average using the measure and select average then I want to get rid of some months so I'm going to pick up the order date drag that across again select uh, a range of months and I'm going to just filter it down to just months past February 2012 okay superb so this is our visualization let's just step backwards and see how we could have made that slightly easier using some different keyboard combinations. So first of all I'm going to use my right mouse button, hold down on the order date and drag that across to columns. Now you'll see I get this drop field where I can choose between discrete values and choose between the continuous values down here. So this is saving me one step in producing the visualization because I can go straight here and immediately get my months across here. I'm going to use my right mouse button and again on the sales hold down and drag onto rows so right mouse button drag this time and again I get the drop field this time it's for a measure so I get slightly different options I'm going to select the average again saving me an extra mouse click so in two mouse drags I've done what took me two mouse drags and two menu options before now I can hold down control to copy this field into the filters and again I get this selection I can select range of dates dive into here and just a quick way of copying that field across instead of having to find it in the menu just here so a few less clicks and a few less um, a few less points to uh, to go through to get to this point. Um, let's quickly explore what that means as we drag and drop things. If I right mouse button and drag after an existing continuous measure, I only get the continuous options because they're the only ones that make sense to the right of a continuous value. If I do it to the left, I get the discrete values as well. I also get the uh, discrete and continuous individual exact dates as well. Um, the same applies if I pick up a string category and drop it say just here I, with my right mouse button I get the min, max, count, distinct etc or the individual category to break that out my right mouse button to the right of this that I only get the count distinct options because they're the only continuous options that make sense to the right of a continuous measure. One final point is that I can use control and drag to duplicate measures, maybe create a dual axis chart and compare the average with say the median. Let's change the colour of that just to get a quick visualisation comparing two of the same buttons without having to drag on and, and drag on the same pill again. So use left, right and control just to make your life that little bit easier in Tableau. It saves a few minutes and it's a really quick way of, uh, of saving some, some difficult button clicks. Hope you enjoyed this tip.